Every girl I know helped choose their husband. Why am I forced to marry someone I haven't even met? He just moved here from Bethlehem. He's a good man from a good family. His name is Joseph. I'm securing your future, Mary. But what about my dream of becoming a teacher, like my father? You are fortunate anyone will have you with all your crazy ideas. Crazy ideas? You're the reason I have these crazy ideas. You put them into my head by having me study these scriptures day after day, year after year. Because I did not have a son to teach them to. So now you punish me for it? You are a girl. You would be a wife, not a teacher, as tradition demands. As you wish, Father. Oh, Fig, this isn't fair. Mary, can we talk about this? I'm going to town, Deborah. Rebecca, we're going shopping. <gasps> that isn't, it's not what I said. She needs to find fabric for her betrothal gown. But I don't want to marry for duty. I want to marry for love. Most girls look forward to marriage. Love takes time to grow, Mary, mm -hmm. like a flower. Your husband might be handsome, exciting, wonderful. He might be a very good dancer. And if he's none of these things, he'll still be my husband. Mary, you're getting married. It's about to be the best day of your life. Scary, cause maybe married means that I am kissing all my dreams goodbye. Divine institution, a holy union. One sure sign that you are blessed. Aura, life sentence of daily dependence. Bickering and yes, steering until death. Mary, Mary.
Thanks. You're welcome. Thank you. Uh, I'm an expert at choosing. Uh, uh, what I mean is that I, I know how... You choose fruit? <laughs> I have many skills. Mm -hmm. It's nice. Why are you telling this to a stranger? I feel like we're already friends, no? Apparently I'm betrothed, so I really should get going now. Yet, here we are. Goodbye. Uh, uh, wait, wait, you haven't picked any fruit. I, I don't think you heard what I said. Choose one. It'll be my gift to a beautiful bride. I don't accept gifts from strangers. Strangers, aren't we past that? This one's perfect. Oh, uh, I didn't get your name. <laughs> Pig? <laughs> okay, whoa. <laughs> I hate donkeys. <laughs> Potter, my firstborn. Uh, returning from uh, Rome. Rome. So, uh, what do you want? Oh. Rome has ordered us to conduct a census. Oh. King Herod, by decree, at the command of our Lord and Emperor Caesar Augustus, a census shall be taken throughout the Roman Empire. All citizens shall return to their ancestral blah, 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 Rome, you know. Rome. <laughs> Rome. <laughs> Father, we, we cannot just ignore Caesar. What? A census will only anger the people. You seem to have no problem angering the people without Caesar's help. Uh, uh, wine. Should have them removed. No, 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 no. They amuse me. They're nice people. Father, I have concerns that Rome will hear about this. Well, I have time. concerns that you don't know what it means to be a king. Aye. A king doesn't need to be loved, only obeyed and feared. I live only to serve my king, not to be one. <laughs> 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 Father. Father. Don't pretend you don't want to be king. Everyone wants this crown 